everybody and welcome back to another On The Table video guys. So, what have we got in store for you this time? Well, I've been doing a little bit of experimenting and a little bit of prototyping guys because one of the things that I kind of am not very fond of is the Yeehaw Steampunk Cowboys for Adeptus Mechanicus. Um, I really do not like the aesthetic, I don't care for the cowboy aesthetic, it's just not my thing. Um, I don't know what Games Workshop were going for when they designed the like the steampunk cowboys. Um, it, it's really just an odd flavour for me, and it leaves a weird taste in my mouth. I'm not a huge fan of them. Um, I know they're very popular in the meta. Like the raiders are very very popular, very very strong at the moment. Possibly they're going to get nerfed in the future. Um, however, I quite like the idea of the sulphur hounds. I like the idea of them, and the unit in general is great. I just wish that they weren't on horseback. I wish they weren't on mechanical horses. I feel that the Adeptus Mechanicus could put their technology to much better use than making mechanical horses. Have one freaking quad bikes or something, or kind of like hover, hover bikes or hover platforms or something, you know, else. But those fucking cowboy riding motherfuckers. Just, they don't fit the feel of my army at all, you know. So I decided to myself, I was going to make some more, make some of my own ones. And I've always kind of looked like the look of penitent engines. And then I realised, oh, Sisters of Battle have just come out. So I thought to myself, I'll get myself some penitent engines and I'll make them Adeptus Mechanicus, as you can see right here. Um, so let's just zoom in on these. These are really not very heavily converted at all. First and foremost, a few comments about the Sisters of Battle penitent engine kit. It is amazing. It is a beautiful kit. It is worth every penny. You get two penitent engines or mortifiers, I think, in the kit. And they are wonderfully poseable. Um, the kit is an absolute dream to put together. Uh, obviously, I did convert some of them. Like I added some little extra Mechanicus whistles and bells. Like I completely got rid of like the front bit with the guy in it. Or the woman in it, and I replace them with these Admech skulls. Like, I imagine that the Adeptus Mechanicus produced these frames en masse, and then, like, put, like, corrupted machine spirits, or, like, insane machine spirits in them, and just set them loose at the enemy. Kind of like an Adeptus Mechanicus version of a flagellant. Um, but you can have them, like, running, you can have them standing if you want. I like them, like, absolutely pegging it towards um, the enemy. Uh, I actually use the right size bases for the Cerberus um, Sulfur Hounds, because that's what these guys are being proxied as. Uh, because I know that there's a lot of people out there that have issues with base footprints and stuff, and even though I don't only play friendly games, this one, because these models are so drastically different from the Sulphur Hounds, uh, it's a case of I, I need something to represent the actual footprint. Now, I've had a bit of criticism on these on certain Adeptus Mechanicus uh, groups. Some people don't like them. Some people think that they are the wrong size to be uh, Sulphur Hounds, and said they're more in lines with Cassellan uh, robots. Now, that might be the case if you're using regular Cassellan robots in your army. However, myself, I am not. Uh, I am using, uh, as you guys have seen, uh, these big boys right here, the uh, Domitars, and there is a massive, an absolutely massive side difference. The Domitars are just really, really chunky. These guys are super weedy and super thin, and that is why I am using them for the Sultan, because the thinness of them and the weediness of them is going to contribute to the fact uh, that they don't have a great armor save, uh, and they have a few wounds, and that's basically it. Let's tuck that box back in there, which the Domitar came out of. Um, yeah, so... Uh, let's take a closer look at one of the models. Let's take a closer look at this one, because this one is my favourite. So, what have I actually done to it? So, I've moved the flamers from the Penitent Engine. I had lots of other flamers, but I thought, do you know what? These fit perfectly in this like little central chest cavity going on here. And we added some Mechadendrites, add Mech Iconography. These bits are from the little guys that are inside them, or supposed to be inside them. Like, I just glued it and repurposed it for something else. Um, the guns, uh, I kind of got a bit lazy with this. I basically just got a heavy bolter and stuck this like coil in the end of it. Uh, gotta be said, not my proudest moment, but hey ho, it's done now. Uh, and then these exhaust stacks here replace the little flaming burners that they had. Uh, and they are from a terrain piece. 
Uh, but yeah, so this is what I, I've done. I'm pretty, I kind of, I'm really happy with the way they turned out. I made you go back and do some work on the back because the back really is just silver. <laughs> so I need to go back and address that a little bit. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, pretty decent. The only issue I really ran into with these was trying to get rid of this kind of like it's like a wooden panel in here and I try to kind of like fill it as best I can with plastic putty and then like smooth it off with my finger to kind of fill in the gaps but it's it's the only issue that I have really uh, I've got a few more little bits like I've got to do these skulls here I've actually just noticed right now that I've missed them which I'm a little bit annoyed about but I love like the paintwork that I did on the actual big skulls it looks really like bone I was very very happy the way that turned out uh, but yeah, so that's what I've been doing uh, with these guys. Please, guys, let me know what you think. I know that th th there's going to be a very, very divided uh, comment section on these, whether or not I should use them as Cerberus Raiders or not, um, or, use, or rather than use them as Cassellans, but I'm using them as Raiders, and I'm going to get more of them. I'm probably going to get another two boxes of these, so I have a unit of six Raiders. Uh, it's going to be quite an expensive project, but I think it's going to look super cool in the long run when there's like six of these things legging it across the battlefield. Um, and I'm just going to have to quickly stop the camera for one second because I actually have to delete some footage. One second, guys. Right, now that that footage is deleted, who out of you guys in the comments, raise your hands now, would like to see an epic shield wall? I know it's most of you. So anyway, here it is. Ha ha! Look at this absolutely magnificent and majestic shield wall that we have going on in the background right here. Um, these are Secutari Hoplites, and these are a, a, a squad that I've been working on for some time now. It's been quite time consuming because, oh no, he's not... He's not stood up properly. There we go. It's been quite time consuming because of how many there are. This is one of those dual plastic and resin kits from Forge World, and it is an awesome looking kit once you get all the little bits together. Um, I'm very pleased with the way they turned out, and I needed these guys because... Well, I didn't need them. I wanted these guys because I needed some much-needed backfield defence in my army. And I thought, you know what, we're going to use these guys. Um, they're pretty cool with the shields and their poke sticks. They're fairly good in combat. I think they get, they get a 4 plus and vulnerable save in combat, which is great. Um, so 4 plus armor, 4 plus and vulnerable, really, really good. Their poke sticks do a reasonable amount of damage as well. And they just look absolutely epic. Let's find, uh, let's pick on one of the, uh, let's find the, one of the alphas. One of the alphas in the back right here. I've done the alphas with a little, oh, that's not an alpha. I can't even tell my own guys. What's going on? Well, there's an alpha. Oh, and I just realised my camera's moved. There we go. So this is the one of the alphas I've done. I determined the alphas by having the um, the cog with the skull in the middle, as opposed to just the regular cog. Um, but aren't these guys super cool looking? So basically, the body and the ch and, and the legs are the plastic kit, and then everything else is uh, games work is a uh, Forge World, which is really really nice. Um, I did have to do these in sub assembly, and they took absolutely fit ever to do in sub-assembly. Because one of the things that I really hate and really dislike doing is painting Skitari uh, legs. Uh, and, and it just takes ages because you've got to go around all the little metal bits. However, I did come up with a little solution for these. And it's kind of evident on here. Not so much on camera, but in real life you can tell it much easier. So what I did, I gave the legs a, a wash um, of null oil. Uh, around the silver bits, which was much easier than just applying straight black. And then once I hit it with my 50-50 wash, when I washed the entire miniature down with it, it actually darkened up really well, and you can actually barely see that the, the, the whole thing was undercoated in silver. It's probably better on this chap here, um, as you guys can see there. But I was really, really, really happy with the way that turned out. And other than that, it was a fairly basic paint job. It just took a long time, because there's so goddamn many of them. And I've just realised, now looking at all these little bastards, that I'm going to have to base them all. <laughs> it's not fair. I really hate basing. It's so annoying. If anybody wants to come around and do the basing of all my miniatures for free, I will happily buy you lunch. <laughs> uh, that's, I, I can't pay people, unfortunately, to do that uh, because uh, it's uh, I don't have that much money. But I can make a good lunch or a good breakfast or something. So yeah, uh, <laughs> there are my uh, uh, Secutari Hoplites. And they will be my last minute of backfield defence. Uh, however, one of the downsides, they do not actually get any of the Forge World doctrines or any of the benefits or any Forge World, uh, any of the Codex Forge World stuff, um, which is really, really sad. So I may probably, more than likely, end up proxy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry. A big yawn that came on. 
Jesus, uh, I'm actually going to be probably be proxying these guys as Vanguard, and you know what? They could be forgiven for that, but they just look so cool. Very, very happy. Oh, Jesus, nearly crushed him in my own hand then. Really, really happy with the way the poke sticks turned out with their little glowy ends. I was really, really pleased with that. And uh, yeah, just uh, in general, they're just a good model. Um, however, I am not too keen on just how fragile they are. Like, as you can see, that is one long bit connected here, and that is going to be very prone to snapping if these are looked after however they will be cared for in the most wonderful way my fantastic little toaster boys uh, but anyway that's all we have uh, for this time oh no no it's not all we have this time just hold on one second guys um as you guys know i'm building something rather big in the background for this and um i just wanted to show you this piece of it here this is a piece of terrain that has been modified somewhat um maybe it's been modified as some kind of a weapon mount got some nice little transfers on this but yeah in the comments in the doobly-doo down below what do you guys think this is a weapon mount for that would be my question to you and i will absolutely love hearing your responses also guys if you know what it is and you've seen it on the instagram um you know please don't chime in you know about what it is don't give the game away just yet um but also if you do feel like leaving a comment leave a comment of something unrelated what do you think of the skatari what do you think of my crazy cerberus sulfur hound conversions i would love to know uh, don't forget to give a like to the video and any interaction really with it just helps the channel immensely guys like you guys have no idea how much like just a simple like can just influence the channel. It's really, really good. Uh, but with that being said, guys, I'm going to leave that there for you guys to ponder. I'm going to leave now. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you now and goodbye.